Hi everyone, I hope you are all doing well. In this video, we are going to tackle a common issue for young researchers and uh, that issue is related to adding missing document to Scopus. We will talk uh, about uh, the process uh, in a stepwise manner. So uh, keep watching the video till end so that uh, you may get the complete information on how to um, get the issue resolve of missing document in your Scopus profile. So let's start. So first of all, you uh, have to open your Scopus uh, profile. So we will um, write on Google as scopus.com or scopus.com login. So this is the link you have to open this Scopus uh, profile. If you have not created any Scopus uh, account till yet, then you can simply go to Google write Scopus account uh, uh, account registration and then you can create your account. This uh, Scopus profile is very effective for uh, showing your research profile to universities level or if you are applying for any kind of um, PhD or master program or any kind of job opportunities at university level so it will help uh, you introduce to the uh, team to which you are submitting your file okay so uh, this is the Scopus link and uh, now what we have to do uh, if you are using uh, more than one Scopus account at uh, one uh, laptop then it will ask to sign in or log out or uh, if you are using for the first time then it will ask you to register okay so because this is the uh, Scopus link of my profile so what we have to do now just uh, when you open this link you can see the option of here uh, like question mark when you click on question mark it will show three options we will click on contact us so after clicking on contact us it will show uh, what are um, your main problems uh, which is the uh, query you want uh, your answer or what is uh, the problem you are facing while using Scopus so here we scroll down and here you can see how can uh, the third option how do I request to add a missing document if your research paper is recently published or any of your research paper is missing in your Scopus profile then you need to um, you can uh, send them an email you can uh, you can ask them to um, add your missing document by providing the detail of paper okay so once we click on how do I add missing document it is showing like um, you have to uh, it completely shows the information or step what we need to do here it is showing like we need to uh, open the web form and then uh, open the email link and then select your role and add missing details and then and then uh, we need to send them an email okay so let's go back and then again uh, you need to click on contact us here you can see the option of email okay so you just need to click on email After clicking on email, it is uh, showing this kind of site to you and here you need to select your role. Either you are an author or editor or publisher or whatsoever. If you are um, an author of a research paper, you can select your role as author. And after that, uh, it is asking about the reason for contacting. So we can select uh, document missing add missing document if there is any your um, query about your scopus profile you can select that but here we are discussing about add missing document so we select first option and then it is asking uh, missing article on scopus or other profile missing issue new title selection so here our main concern is about missing article on scopus so we will select this first link and uh, it is uh, asking about the subject so uh, they are asking is uh, this request is for a multiple documents like more than one research paper or for one paper so we can simply write uh, if it is for one paper add missing document to Scopus so if it uh, if you are applying or um, contacting them for more than one uh, documents you can select the number of documents you uh, you are uh, requesting them to add to your scopus profile okay so here we just say like add missing document to scopus so in the next question 
uh, they are asking multiple documents so uh, it is not multiple we are asking for only one document so here they you need to provide the document details like the research paper title doi and um, iss and of uh, journal and online publication date and everything so for example this is the paper and uh, we want to add the this missing document to scopus so here we need to select the title of paper and then we will add document title and what is the doi of paper if you um, can't find the doi on your paper you can simply search the doi uh, from google by copy pasting the paper title and when you open your paper on google it will also show a doi of your paper okay after that um, uh, and also if the doi is not yet issued to your paper you can simply um, uh, say like uh, not available by simply typing na okay but usually um, the doi of every paper is issued once the paper has been accepted for uh, publication after proofreading so it is compul uh, it is um, uh, good to if you add doi of paper as well so it is asking in the next question about either it is a review paper or a, a research paper or article in press so basically it is research paper so we will select this category and uh, after that it is asking about iss and of uh, journal so it is asking about the journal information so the journal of this paper is journal of nanostructure and here you can see i have opened the site of uh, this journal uh, you can simply find this ISSN information on the journal site of either uh, whatever the journal you have chosen for publication. So here you can see it's um, uh, ISSN number is this one. So I will just copy paste from here and uh, copy paste will, will be pasted by um, in this option okay. So in next it is asking about online publication date. So publication date is also mentioned on paper like uh, this article information if it is not mentioned on paper uh, it uh, the email last email you uh, got from the publisher of the journal about the paper publication you can also select that date okay so it is uh, published on 21st uh, July 2024 so I will um, add the date here uh, keep in mind it is asking date months and in year format so you have to paste it the date in this format first date then uh, months and then year so after adding that uh, publication date you need to add the volume of paper so here you can see the volume of paper is 14 and uh, it is also mentioned on the paper uh, but if it is not it will be mentioned on the uh, online site of your paper in which uh, uh, in the journal where it is published okay so you can uh, uh, write volume as 14 next is asking about issue number and then it is its issue number is 3 you can uh, add the issue number of your paper and the page range page range you can select from here or either you can also see the page uh, range of your paper uh, published research paper okay you, it is also um, highlighted in the paper as well so then it is asking about the question and after that you need to uh, attach an, a pdf file for uh, uh, that is about the research paper like if we want to add this missing document in scopus you need to uh, attach that pdf in uh, that file in pdf form only here and make sure that its maximum size is 20 MB or less than 20 MB. So here you need to write a simple question like we want to add missing document in uh, Scopus and the details are given above and the file is attached below. So we need to choose the file from here and then we will select the PDF file and then click on open it will be uh, uploaded okay. So this is the optional step if you want to upload your PDF or not but uh, it's better if you upload so that it would be easier for um, elsewhere team to identify the missing document easily okay so once the file is uploaded then you need to uh, mention the okay so here you can see the file has been uploaded if you want to uh, remove this file or if you have uh, 
uploaded a wrong file then you can remove it and choose the select uh, and uh, choose or select the correct file as well okay so in next uh, you need to provide your personal details like your name email um, to which uh, or any corresponding person uh, to which the sport team of scopus will contact okay so here you can uh, select uh, your title either doctor or miss or mister and then you need to provide your first name and the last name and the email address and after that you need to uh, provide the country or re uh, region so i will select the country here and then you need to click on send your question once you send your request to a uh, scopus team then um, in the meantime you will uh, you will receive an email from the scopus help center like this one uh, like it is the support center of elsewhere and it is a, a confirmation that your request has been received and we are taking um, notice of your uh, query and we will respond to you within four weeks or five weeks working uh, working weeks okay and uh, like within uh, nearly two to three weeks they respond and the missing document automatically they will add to your scopus profile so in this way you can contact them and uh, ask any question if you have instead of uh, add missing documents if your um, if uh, any of your citations are missing in your scopus profile you can also um, proceed uh, follow the same procedure by contacting us and then you can select any of the question or query you are uh, you have for your uh, scopus profile so in this way you can contact the team of elsewhere uh, to update and um, to update your uh, profile so that uh, it would be easy for you and for others to uh, check out check out the uh, to check out your uh, research uh, criteria and research progress so this is all about today's video i hope it will help you in um, in um, uh, contacting and adding missing document to your scopus profile uh, if you like the video if it is helpful for you don't forget to like share and subscribe the channel in next videos we will discuss some other important issues about the research profiles like orchid id and google scholar and scopus profile etc so stay tuned with young researchers uh, stay blessed thank you goodbye